fun sap collection. And there's ice on the top. Reach in. Pull it out. Less water you have to boil off. Then you just throw the top back on. Dripping pretty good today. Pretty cold. Yep, there's how much ice is in there. Imagine if you'd had to boil all that off. Taking a few more hours. But that one ain't very full. We got Frank out here, Frank the dog. We're at the neighbor's farm. And uh, we're just gonna walk down here. Been working on a couple of mowers and stuff. This is a nice Cub Cadet. It's like a 1972 or something. Original IH back on it. Here's the parts one. Same tractor, just a little less condition. But back to set. Got our lines full. Once again, bucket's frozen on top. That just means that the water and the sap is separated. Some of these you can pull right out because they're strong enough. All that ice. Get right out of there. Get that back on there. I like to do this. Helps drains the helps drain the lines. them lines just go right on out as you can see most of that sap goes right on out Trying to get it through the lid there, but these aren't the best connectors. These ones are too short to go into the lid. We don't like that. So we'll just cover it up like that. It'll keep it on there. But saved us another hour of boiling. This is a international snowblower. There's four of these decks. Two of the lawnmowers. That's it for sap collecting. I got a bunch more buckets to do and just thought I'd do a little tip on sap collecting.